Welcome to our session where we are in conversation with Fiona Shaw, um, who's covering our MA Creative Writing course. Um, Fiona's going to just tell us a little bit more about herself and also about the course. Um, over to you. Thank you. Um, I am Senior Lecturer in Creative Writing at Northumbria, here at Northumbria. Like all the other academics in the Creative Writing Department, I'm also a practising writer, publishing writer. Uh, so there's a range of us uh, publishing a range of different kinds of creative work. Um, I am I'm not principally a novelist. Uh, my most recent novel, though, is a children's novel, my first children's novel. Um, and amongst my adult novels, this has been a very exciting year because um, my novel, Turks the Bees, has just premiered at the Toronto Film Festival and should be distributed in the UK in the spring. Um, colleagues of mine are poets, uh, one, one's a poet, a short story writer, other novelists, creative non-fiction writers, so there's a range of us working. Okay, fantastic. Um, so we're just going to ask you a couple of questions about the course, um, so you can kind of give us a little bit more detail. Um, so we, I know that you often get asked um, how much experience of writing does mm -hmm. a student need to come onto the course. Could you advise on that? Yes, absolutely. Um, we have students coming to do our creative writing MA from quite a range of writing backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, a few students come having done a creative writing degree. Mm -hmm. I would say they're probably a minority. Far more students um, come from a background where they have a, they've developed a real interest in writing and they will all have been writing themselves mm -hmm. creatively, um, but very often come with a completely different kind of educational background um, and very often are also finding time for their creative writing in MA, uh, which, which gets sorted in the evening, um, out of the middle of kind of busy lives. So they're often um, busy, they already have a busy professional life. Uh, and they want to develop their writing skills, they want to become better writers and of course they also have in mind that they want to publish as writers but they, it doesn't necessarily mean they're trying to think they're going to throw off everything they're doing and, and uh, become a script writer. So are the people that teach on the course writers? I know you touched on some of them, poets and things that you can yes. go into a bit more detail. Yes, absolutely. Yes, all the people teaching, all of the people that anybody would be taught by, we're all practicing writers and that seems, that feels like a very important part mm -hmm. of what we do um, teaching in the university. Mm -hmm. um, our research um, absolutely informs the kind of the way what we teach and how we teach. Uh, so I, as I say, I've been teaching. Um, I've been just recently published a children's novel for the first time, um, first children's novel. And one of the things that you have to do if you're writing for children, or I have to do for writing for children, far um, I have to pay far more attention to the pace of the story. Mm -hmm. So that was something that actually I thought, gosh, this is a really good learning experience for me. Mm -hmm. That's something I need to develop my skill in and have done, and I can then obviously pass that on, talk about that and make use of that mm -hmm. learnt experience um, with my students. Um, research is very important if you're going to make a story tell. Mm -hmm. So, but I think students come onto the course not really thinking about the kinds of research you sometimes need to do as a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, so of course you, you need, sometimes writers need to go into the archives, mm -hmm. sometimes they often need to read, they mm -hmm. certainly need to look things up on Google, mm -hmm. but they also need to interview people, they also need to go to places. Could you um, name a few modules that are taught on the course? Yes, um, so at the moment, for example, the, course, the modules I'm teaching this semester, mm -hmm. I'm teaching two modules on the MA this semester. Um, one I'm only teaching half of, so I can't speak to the other half of the course, but uh, the one module I'm teaching is called uh, Creativity, mm -hmm. and it's a core course, so every student who comes onto the MA will do it, mm -hmm. take it, and it's, um, it's a kind of exploration of all the kinds of different ways you might find to, uh, to, to uh, spark your imagination and to try writing in different kinds of mediums. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, will, I might set students, amongst other things, I might set them a whole series of different writing tasks in two hours. So they very, they're very, can be very quick fire and students just go and write mm -hmm. and then they talk about what they've written and sometimes we, uh, read it out and, have, and people respond to it. Um, but they then can take that away and develop the things that they thought, yeah, that idea really worked for me. They'll go and develop it into something that's a, might be a short story or it might be um, a piece of prose poetry. The other course I'm teaching this semester is called Reading Like a Writer. So it's uh, a more kind of critical, textually critical mm -hmm. course uh, in which we are looking at uh, texts that other writers have written, um, how they've put them together, 
uh, how sometimes the writers have written about their own work, mm -hmm. and then the students will go, will will be developing their own stories or um, their own creative work, but also reflecting on and writing about it. Towards the end of the module, all students would take there's a, a really kind of key module called uh, professional practice, um, which is we co-run with uh, New Writing North mm -hmm. and. Um, runs for a semester and so the students have the opportunity to meet a whole range of, and work with, mm -hmm. a whole range of um, professionals from the kind of creative industries. From, um, so there'll be a publisher, there'll be a publisher coming in one week, an agent another week, um, a, new, a new graduate who's just had the first book published mm -hmm. another week, so it works like that. Why do you think um, people want to come on this course? Well, what, what people tell me um, at Open Days and when they first start I think everybody who comes on the course comes on the course because they want to. They, obviously, they want to write better. Mm -hmm. um, they also, there are. I haven't yet met somebody who wants to develop their writing skill and to uh, or, and write a really great book. I haven't yet met anybody who wants to put that book back underneath their bed and never show it to mm -hmm. anyone. So everybody's also thinking, I would like to develop my writing, and if possible, I'd like to get published. Yeah. Um, and. What's great about the course is actually, what's great about hearing about people, what people do afterwards is hearing the stories about how people, how people have got published, that mm -hmm. somebody's got a first novel published, or somebody's getting published, their stories published in magazines, mm -hmm. um, or somebody that has got a script that's in development and has got funded for development, that kind of thing. So um, the MA course does and can and does make a difference mm -hmm. to how people write, and together with the kind of um, advice and exposure to the, the industry and to the professionals working in the, in the industry um, gives people a real opportunity to um, to get pub to to improve their work in such a way that they might get published.